Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Halloween haul. I know I said in my previous videos that there weren't going to be many more of these. Um, I checked Facebook today and apparently TK Maxx got not a lot but a few new items that they haven't had so far this year. So I decided to go and have a look just before I went to uni and they did have some new things and they had some things that were there last year but hadn't come back this year yet. Not the newer stuff that's just come in but the old stuff that's been in since like August now. They've started to reduce. Some of the things are half price and some of them have like one pound off or um, depending on what the item is. So I decided to have a look and I did manage to find some things that I really did like. The first one is this. Now I already have this cup but I hadn't seen these this year so far and when I went in and saw I think there were like three of these I had like a flashback to that photo of the Haunted Bats um, smashed one of these and I use this mug all the time and I have the Wittard pumpkin spice tea in it and I just I love it so much so I thought I'd get a backup just in case and if not then I'll just um I can have two but I just think this style is so cute and I know they have these in America in a lot of shops um but I'm just worried in case mine does smash or something happens to it that next year they will have them it's a pumpkin as you can see i like how it's kind of dark orange there and then um there's strips of lighter orange and these bits are like um what's the word not engraved but it does go in there is what i'm trying to say um it's got two triangular eyes and a nose and then it's got a very classic pumpkin mouth and look in general it says happy halloween in the top and then it's got a black handle it is a fairly big mug i feel like all the tk max mugs are kind of huge for some reason and it was 3.99 and then it does have oh okay i thought this was a sticker but this is actually like printed onto it and this wasn't printed on the one last year and it does say that it's microwave and dishwasher safe and i know they have a bowl of this as well which looks quite cool but i just i wouldn't have the room for that so the next item i got is a snow globe i limited myself to one snow globe this year because they are huge like they take up quite a big space and i'm kind of running out of space to put things so i got the pumpkin stack one that i wanted last year but couldn't find so I got that one and then I went in today and there were some in the clearance section and I was also looking for like a graveyard scene one but I haven't seen any of those this year. They seem to be mainly like skulls or skeletons or cats or something. But I did manage to find this one which I really liked and it was reduced to £6. Be careful not to drop it. And I believe it was 11 or 12 pounds to begin with. So I did pretty much get this half price. And I really love the scene of it. So there's like a skeleton couple who look like they've just got married. And then there's these three skulls around them. And then there's grass there. And then at the back there's a little gravestone that says R.O.P. there. So it, it does look like they're dancing in a graveyard. What I noticed about this one is this is kind of the main feature of it rather than the stand. The two I got the last year or the year before that, um, obviously like this is the main part of it, but the stands have all been like really detailed as well. And I've got one with like a velvet tablecloth thing on and the pumpkin ones on a stack of books but i thought this one was really different because it's just got like a black stand kind of thing there's not much to it which i i think suits this piece i'm not sure if i would have bought it for 11 or 12 pounds but for six i i had to get it and i had to carry that in my bag all day and it weighed my bag down that was a commitment the next item's from tiger I'm not entirely sure why I got these. They're like 
bone hair clips. I'll take them out of the wrapper. So they're just like really simple bone hair clips. And then they've got the, um, is it called an alligator clasp? I'm not sure. And these suit my hair the best because any other like won't stay in my hair because it's so short. Okay, so my battery died. So as I was saying, yeah, they have the alligator clip on them, which suit my hair better. I did see these on, I think, Spooky Box, eBay, and I would like to try them out. But the problem I have is they, they squish my hair too much and then it kind of puffs out too much. So I'm not sure whether these will suit my hairstyle but um they were only a pound for two of them which is a good price i saw on instagram people had um more of the poundland bags i'm not sure how to describe them but they're like reusable bags but they've got this shiny plasticky coating on them and they're really good for picking up like large items from tk maxx or shopping or going to the post office and things like that so last year they did this one which says I'm too cute to spook like the pattern is so nice and then this year they had a skull one which I picked up but then I realized that that's kind of whether they came up with two I don't know but then I saw this one and this was even better so this is definitely my favorite out of the three that I have it's got like pumpkins and skulls and cobwebs and bats sweets down the bottom a cauldron a witch's hat more ghosts and it says trick or treat and the print is on both sides and this was only a pound and it's, it's a huge bag so i picked up two of them because i think they're really like useful and also i start to keep them in all my bags and stuff so i'm never like caught out having to buy a bag and i did get two as well because i regret not getting two of this one but i preferred this one anyway so and the last item I didn't even know kind of existed until today. So someone posted on Facebook about a lamp and it was a stack of three skulls. I think they were gold, but if I would have saw that, I would have got it even if it was gold because I, I prefer silver. I'm not that into gold, so I still would have got it because that is, this is boring. And I'm very aware that that's always in the background of these videos and it's it's not spooky. Everything else is spooky. That isn't. It stands out. Um, and I have been wanting to replace it for a long time, but I haven't seen a lamp that I've liked that's actually, like, gothic without spending, like, loads and loads of money. I went into TK Maxx just in the off chance that they might have had the stacked skull one. And I found one that I think I like even more and it was cheaper than the skull one. So it's this um, like bedside table lamp. As you can see, it was twelve ninety nine. So this has got a coating on it, like a wrapper. The lampshade itself is just black, which I really liked as well. And then the skull at the bottom is kind of like a Day of the Dead skull. I did like that it was mainly black as well. I think if this would have been like a colour, I don't think I would have got it. So it's got a hat with some flowers on. With a red ribbon. And then the skull itself has like blue around its eyes and more like flowery details. And like white teeth. And then the sides are just plain. And so is the back and then it's on this like standard black kind of stand and then it does have a on and off switch and then the plug at the bottom so i'm really pleased to find this and it should take up a bit less room on my table as well and i'd be happy to get rid of that finally so i'm really happy that tk maxx came out with this because i haven't seen any other shop do something like this there was only one there as well and i had to go to a different tk maxx so they might be kind of rare, just like the pillow that I couldn't find. But that's fine. It's fine. I'm over that. That's everything I got today. I know I said in my last videos that I wouldn't be doing any TK Maxx hauls. I think 
now this is the end of it because I've gone through the sale stuff. Let me know if you've found anything amazing in the clearance um, Halloween section of TK Maxx or any other places. Like this video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing. I do post videos about every three days, uh, mainly because I've got a lot of spooky ones that I want to let you know about before Halloween's over, so I'm trying to like get them out. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!